Um, hi everyone, uh, okay, well, my name is Lily, it's really terrifying, but it's also nice to do a bunch of loop strangers. Um, I'm just going to get called out because I work in customer service, I went to the for Dearest Tour. Um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm a patriot poet, and earlier this is a poem about loving in my country, so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on five seconds, sorry. Um, Alright, England. England, I love you. England, when I sat freezing in a Bulgarian airport bathroom at 4 a.m. with the worst case of diarrhea I've ever experienced, and the whole January night I longed for you. I longed for your National Health Service and your bed in your house that you looked after me while I was away. England, I love you and I'm not a nationalist. England, you don't need defending. England, I am so sorry that you desperately need mending and that through that need for mending and constant over-defending of those, fending of those that need a hand lending, we are sending the message that we are a country that's bending, but we will not break. England, it is your bonds that brought them here. England, your colonialist history is no mystery, and all such sophistry will go amiss. We can't pretend the wounds of your past didn't last, and the dark scars still can't be felt today. England, I love you, but you are not my lover. I do not love your imperfections. I cannot gently caress your imperfections and whisper sweet nothings in your ear to make you feel less insecure. You should feel insecure. <laughs> you should want to fix your imperfections and reflect upon what's wrong to be the best you for the rest of us. England, I love your capital city. It is the best capital city in the world, no one can tell me otherwise. To grow up there was quite probably the greatest privilege of my life, but your capital city is not the only one that's beautiful. England, your Bristol, your Leeds, your York, your Lincoln, your Hull, your Brighton, your Leicester, your Cornwall and lower stuff. <laughs> your villages and small cities and big cities and your big small cities and your small big cities dripping with love and history. England, embrace one another. England, don't hate the North and don't hate the South. You are England, you are one and at once divided. You are misguided and one-sided and indecided. I do not love your class inequality. I do not love your social mobility and efficiency that keeps the poor in poverty and the rich in prosperity. But England, I love your World Cup unity. <laughs> your optimistic positivity, your dreams resting on the shoulders of 11 young men in shorts, the collective <laughs> song in public spaces after pint after pint. England, I would die for these people, but I would not die for the people in power. Because the resilience of these 11 men and of every anxious man around the country showed more spirit than any elected official. England, I love your freedom of speech and your freedom of press, but please stop giving a platform to those that seek to use that to divide and separate us by saying that they're having their freedom of speech rescinded. I'm sick of listening to Nigel Farage. <laughs> England, I know that you're better than that. I know we're better than this. England, your sunny spring mornings brighten up my life, both literally and metaphorically. I think of the seasons categorically, spring, summer, autumn, winter, but now all four come in the space of a week. England, I'm tired. England, I need you to wake up and get up, because I am going to bed. <laughs>